Ah, kia ora, my name is Chad Tariha. I'm the chairman for the Ngāti Pārau Hapu Trust. Ngāti Pārau are one of seven mana whenua hapu or local sub-tribes of the Ahuriri Napier area. And we work alongside the Department of Conservation and Heritage New Zealand as kaitiaki or guardians of the Ō Tātara Pā Historic Reserve. Ō Tātara is a place of significance, uh, not only just culturally and historically, but, but socially and environmentally also. Uh, so my ancestors settled here and as descendants of those people we've lived on and occupied this area. Cultural history isn't recorded in books or taught in schools, so I come up here to share that, that history. If I don't share it, the, the stories will be lost. And people who learn the stories here can go on and share it with future generations. So we're all responsible for protecting this landscape, both environmentally and spiritually. This project is a really exciting venture. It forms part of a much wider vision which is all about providing the spaces and the opportunities for future generations to be able to understand their place within the environment and their responsibilities towards the environment. The particular site that we're developing here at EIT is the Otatra Outdoor Learning Centre. And the centre is all about providing local communities, schools and of course our own students and our lecturers with the opportunity to be able to um, deliver education in an environmental context. I'm Dr Amelia McQueen. Um, I have put together four resources for this site for primary school and intermediate age kids. And um, these resources are based on the history around the site. The way that we could use this is, it's, the scope is immeasurable. It's actually really simple. It's about connecting our hearts, minds and bodies with the environment so that we know, feel and understand that we are part of nature and nature is part of us. This outdoor learning space is something absolutely unique not just for EIT, but for the whole province, for the whole Hawke's Bay, for everybody, really. You see, if we're going to be serious about education for the future, we need to look at nature, because nature has been here a heck of a lot longer than we have. So we can learn from nature. Using education with nature as a context, that is exactly what we're doing here at EIT, at the outdoor learning space. And I think it's the way of the future, because here, we can take our students outside and learn from nature and in nature. And that covers the whole curriculum. Numeracy, literacy, social studies, art, music, dance, history, oh yeah, and science, oh, and biology, oh, and ecology. We are rediscovering the operations manual of planet Earth. I mean, what else do we need to know? This is the place to be.